Hello everybody, what is up? It is Gizzlegoo and welcome to uh, my review and kind of just a video of the DLC pack 1. Um, now, this DLC pack came out not too long ago. I'm a little late to the party because it took a while to create this video, but that is okay. Um, and yeah, so today I'm going to be doing an in-depth video of showing you how to obtain each and everything that comes with the DLC, like all the pieces of armor and things like that, and just going over generally everything that is within the DLC. So if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, um, make sure to subscribe because I make Zelda videos and other type of Nintendo videos all the time, and let's get into it. Alright, to start off the video, we're going to start with the Travel's Med Traveler's Medallion. Now, it's pretty easy to get, but also not really. Uh, you want to head to Lome Labyrinth Island, which uh, I just showed you guys on the map there. And you want to hop down here, and if you already have the shrine activated, this is going to be easy for you. Um, and basically, you want to head to the very back of the actual uh, little underground area you have here and you can see I messed up a lot uh, these guardians are pretty dang brutal um, I tried to Urbrosa's Fury but I was about to die and once you get right here uh, at the very um, end you can see I'll show the map there real quick but once you get there boom you have the Traveler's Medallion um, Alright, I'm going to start off getting armor with the Majora's Mask, and you want to head over towards Lake Colomo, which is right on the left side of the whole map. Um, it's pretty easy if you travel to this shrine right here, Oman Ao Shrine, and there's also a chest right next to it. Um, I don't really know why, but I'm going to open it. I think you get this from just uh, purchasing the expansion pass, but it is a rupee, so, or a ruby, so if you want to get that, go ahead. And basically what you want to do is head off right off this cliff and then land right on the land and just pull a U-turn around to the uh, area itself. So yeah, once you're here, this is the uh, Kolomo Gerusin Ruins. Sorry if I messed that up. I'm, I'm pretty bad with pronouncing things. And you want to head over to the corner of this building and pull it right out of the ground. And there you go, you got the Majora's Mask, pretty easy. Um, all the masks are pretty easy besides the Korok Mask, but yeah. So for the helmet piece of the Phantom Armor, you want to head over to the Colosseum Ruins. And once you get there, uh, don't worry about the Lionel. If you want to kill him, go ahead. Or you could sneak around like I did. I didn't really feel like killing him, so I didn't. And I snuck around to the right side, and <clears throat> once you get like right in, there will be a chest that's kind of hidden. It's pretty easy. Um, the Lionel doesn't really notice you if you have the Sheikah thing. And if you have Majora's Mask, it's even better because uh, I've been told it hides you from enemies as well. So you just want to pull it right out of the ground, and there you go. You will have yourself a Phantom Helmet. Now for the phantom armor itself, you want to head over to this shrine, um, if you don't have it activated, there's probably a way to get there, but it's the Katu Chuki Shrine, and, uh, basically what the phantom armor is, is the chest plate, and you want to head over to, I believe it's the sacred ground ruins or something like that, and you want to fly right over to all these guardians. I did end up having to kill one, which was the one that was the closest, um, because it was trying to kill me while I was pulling out the chest. So I'm going to have to cut in a second because this garden was really getting annoying. So yeah. Okay, so now that I killed the guardian, let's open up this chest. It's just in the little corner of the whole circle. And boom, there you go. Phantom armor. Okay, so for uh, the phantom greaves, I believe it is, uh, you want to head over to Central Tower and then head over to Hyrule Garrison Ruins. And I'm going to speed this part up because it does take a little while, but you guys could figure it out yourself. Basically, you just want to jump off the tower and head over right to the ruins. There's going to be a lot of guardians, but that is okay. So now that we are here in the ruins itself, um, there's also a Bokoblin apparently, so I'll just take him out real quick. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's basically just by the little house area in this, um, in the ruins, which is... 
right here and you can see it's right by the guardian as well the broken guardian you're just gonna pull this out of the ground with your magnesis and open it up and boom there you go the phantom grieves all right so for the korok mask you want to head over to the lost woods and you can see i have it pinned on my mini map here uh basically what you want to do is follow all the torches just like you would if you were going to the lost woods to get uh the master sword and you want to just keep following these torches until you reach the two torches that are like directly across from each other and uh, you'll see I'm almost there but once you make it to these torches which I am right about there you could see them right there and once you make it to these torches you want to continue past the torch that is like closest to the left and you want to continue past these until you find a certain tree that is not like the others where it has the mouth open with a chest inside it took me a little while to find this because it was my first time ever uh, doing this and it is not this one but the one on the other side and it took me a little bit to find because I never did this before so if you open it up you'll see it has EX on it and it is the Korok mask So, for Midna's helmet, you want to go from Central Tower all the way to this kind of, uh, I think it's called Sage Temple Ruins. And you want to travel over here to Central Tower. And basically, you want to just jump off the tower. Um, I'm going to speed this part up as well because the part when you're gliding is pretty boring. So, yeah, you just want to jump off here. And there's some guardians also. But, and choose, choose and you want to just head over to the ruins which is all the way pretty far actually it's um it's a distance it's pretty far and it's kind of in the middle of the water and yeah so once you get there you want to find the area that's kind of like a clump of just broken pieces and it has a sword a shield and of course our chest right here and once again, for the millionth time, you want to pull this out of the ground and open it right up. And you will find the Midna's helmet, which is pretty cool and has guardian resistance. Alright, so saving the best for last, we have the Tingle Armor. And to get the first piece, you want to head over to Central Tower. Um, this is obviously how to get the uh, head piece. And you want to head over to Central Tower and travel to I believe it's called something ruins or something like that I forgot but yeah you basically want to head over here and I'll see what it's called in a minute so yeah there was a lot of guardians and stuff going on but yeah oh exchange ruins that's what it was so you want to head over to exchange ruins and um, yeah once you get there you will find just the chest right there and you rip it out of the ground and you got yourself the uh, first piece of Tingle armor. All right, next up we have the next piece of Tingle suit, which is the chest. And you want to again head over to Central Tower and go over to the next place, which I believe is the prison. Um, or you could head over to the shrine, which I did. Um, I just did that to make the video a little shorter because I didn't want this video to be way, 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 way too long. So if you have that shrine activated, you could easily do that. Or you could just head over from the tower to uh, this area. And you can see I kind of struggled a bit, but we did make it. And through a lot of stuff, we made it to the sacred ground prisons or something like that. I forgot what it's called, but here it is. And you will find the chest um, right around here. And yeah, there it is. So once again, you're going to rip it out of the ground. And you will find yourselves Tingle's shirt. Alright, and finally we have Tingle's pants now. These are like kind of in the middle of Hyrule Field. And once again, for the last time, you want to head over to Central Tower. Um, just like this. And jump off of it once again. We've already done this three times, so it shouldn't be very hard by now. So you want to jump off of it and head over to where we want to go. Now, there's guardians everywhere. 
and it did take me quite a bit to reach this place so I sped it up um, but yeah it's really not too hard to get all the suits I think the hardest one is the Korok mask to be honest um, I don't know why but that one is just real a real pain in the butt but now that we made it over to where I want to be which is Mabe Village Ruins um, it's kind of weird how most of these are ruins um, but I guess that was for whatever they wanted it but yeah, you want to head over to this here guardian and activate your rune and go to kind of like the back side of the guardian um, right here and rip the chest out of the ground for the last time and it'll kind of bring up the whole guardian and leave you a uh, ancient spring and screw. So that is pretty cool. Alright, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you're new. And if you are new, make sure to check out my other videos. And that is all. Peace out.